Hello guys. <laughs> guys, this is me, Masin Dilahi, and uh, we are here today with another episode of Tech and Talk. And uh, my co-host is. Uh, my name is Mark, and I'm my brother. Yeah. In fact, I already know your name is Mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good you you again introduce yourself. So, uh, how are you feeling today, Mark? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited about Tech and Talk. Very. So I am very excited. We are going to plan. We are going to um, shoot our next video. Yeah. yeah. So the main, the very, very, you know, the reason for excitement for myself is uh, the topic. Yeah. The topic we chose today is the best one, I think. So yeah. for the beginners and for the, you know, the professionals yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah because yeah. Uh, most of the times people are not sure about the basics yeah. and the evolution of the things. So. Tell everyone what's the topic. Yeah, today's uh, topic of our discussion is uh, the web development. What is web development? What's I think uh, uh, we will also discuss the evolution of web development as well. Yeah. Yeah. So the evolution of web development and, and uh, definitely what is the web development and everything like that. Yeah. All that it things. Yeah. So web development, I think, Usman is uh, normally we see websites, and uh, if uh, for the beginners, if I say. That's the best and best and best and best <laughs> example that all the websites that you see is the part of web development. But that is web. That is not the web development, right? Yes. So what would you what you tell about web development? Yeah, uh, for web development, uh, we suppose that we need to develop web pages. So this this is very fundamental and very basic. Mm -hmm. uh, then we can see how this web development. Uh, get their uh, specific fields mm -hmm. where we need to design our web pages. We need data from backend. Mm -hmm. We need to uh, we need services. We need some kind of schedules mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we can dig into details one by one. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, why not let let's just start uh, static pages and. Yeah. Uh, I think we should first start with the, the types of web development. What do you think? Uh -huh. Like uh, uh, I think for web development, there are, as you said, there are static pages website, which you can say that is uh, informational website, yeah. and then there is uh, uh, complex application, all the complex applications which we normally build in the uh, for the web development. Uh, what else? Any other thing in your mind? Uh, yeah, you are you are right. You are quite right. Uh, let's start with the first of all the frameworks. Definitely. Let's say with languages. Okay. What are the languages which are providing the web development facilities? I think a lot. Yeah. A lot. Are yeah. you talking about the front end languages or, or the back end languages? Or, or let's first discuss about the front end and back end. What is what is that? Yeah, let's start with back end. Okay. What is back end? Like in one application, if we say uh, like there are two parts mainly. Yeah. One part is the one which uh, user is actually using and which is actually displayed to the end user, yeah. which is using his, his mobile or, or laptop or whatever. And uh, the backend part is the one which with which that frontend is actually dealing, yeah. and which is the server. So all that frontend part is actually the client side of the application, and the backend part is the server side of the application. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, it's right, uh, but let me uh, explain what is backend. Yeah, we are talking here. Uh, basically, the web uh, applications are running on web servers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we can access web application web pages from anywhere around the globe, yeah. right? Yeah. So in this context, all web application is hosted on a web server. Mm -hmm. So this is already a backend. Okay. Right. You got my point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, on on in, in initial uh, phases, in initial uh, development phases, uh, the web application is supposed to be a server side application. Mm -hmm. Where we write our web application like ASP.NET, mm -hmm. like J2W. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, write our applications and we deploy our application on web server. So when client access like www.example.com then the server responds a web page to the client browser and that page gets show, shown on that browser to the client. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
in advance in advancements and in uh, you know in uh, new features or what else uh, with the evolution of java yeah, yeah, with, say, with, yeah. With, with the evolution we have divided that server part into two oh, wow. yes yeah. yeah. one is front end mm -hmm. where the core page and styling get reside mm -hmm. or core page uh, exist and the other part is our data service which is supposed to be web api so in modern world we can say that our pages pages are our client applications and we need to call web api for data to display on that web pages mm -hmm. very nice yeah yeah nice. and uh, uh, i think we should we should talk a bit about uh, the reduction of html and you know access of javascript yeah. like in the start there was there was all the html like you said that html whatever we write and that page when we request when we, we send the http request we get an html response in the answer like, a, yeah. like an html page we get in the response yeah. but with the passage of time developers started putting the scripts which were mainly the javascript yeah. language scripts yeah. so uh, after that, with the evolution, with the with the passage of time, uh, the HTML was getting reduced, and all of that front end portion was required by JavaScript. Mm -hmm. And now we have a lot of frameworks, a number of frameworks for JavaScript, like like React JS, like Angular JS, Vue, Extension JS, yeah, Vue JS, Vue JS, Vue JS, Vue JS, Vue JS, Vue JS, a lot of them, a lot of them. And now what happens? What happens is that the page and everything is built on the front end side. And uh, when user will request any any data, like or when user will request and send an HTTP request to the server, it will get back JSON data. Yeah. That's it. It will get back the data. And, like if I say not the JSON but the data, the data would be in JSON or XML, whatever. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So uh, from here, there is new question come up that uh, what is a single page application and multi page uh, application? I think that's a very good question. <laughs> so, sing, uh, single page applications, as it's very obvious from its name, that uh, any application which is built on single page, not actually built on the single page, but user will only see one page, and page will not be reloaded. Yeah. Okay, when user is using it. Yeah, that's more appropriate. Yeah. yeah. Or uh, or URL doesn't get refreshed. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Only the hash portion of the URL, yeah, yeah. which is which, which is after that slash will get changed every time yeah. but that is not actually the reload of the page yeah. so no new request will be sent to the server for that's the reload right. that's correct right. and what is multi page application if you can elaborate it yeah multi page application is uh, supposed to be the same kind of application we are building a uh, few years back yeah. and then now we are uh, working on that these are standard applications provided by ASP.NET, platforms mvc to leave spring framework mm -hmm. and so that so on uh, but the, the new trending thing is the next step from the multi-page application is the single page application so uh, why the single page application because it, it gives you more responsive mm -hmm. feedback on your device on your laptop mm -hmm. or on your desktop mm -hmm. so it, you, you, you get more engaged with the, that web page. Mm -hmm. So you don't feel that there is something, some pages uh, coming back, back and uh, browser is and, uh, you know, uh, showing the blank and mm -hmm. suddenly you get displayed the HTML page, the whole uh, at once. So uh, the singular page application uh, is for responsiveness. The question came to my mind is now that does an application need to be everything need to be on the same page to become a single page application or the content could be on multiple pages and say we can call it a single page application yeah if, if we can uh, we can describe the structure of a uh, single page application is uh, we know there is uh, a header in a page a footer in a page let's Let's say the layout that we use in MVC, mm. 
the layout remains the same and the content which need, needs to be changed so we load that content dynamically or real time based on the route the hashtag yeah. on, on your URL so uh, from from the defense point of view you haven't got any uh, change uh, from multi page to single page because the same data and same UI will be shown on single page application but the main thing is its responsiveness Uh -huh. uh, yeah, uh, let's uh, why not uh, describe the front end developer and uh, FPD work. What is FPD? Uh, FPD is actually as it's, uh, it's the abbreviation of front end development. So, first of all, when uh, we start building an application, uh, we normally create designs, and that is the work of designers. But those designs are not in any language, yeah. not in any particular language. So the guys who actually convert that design, that raw design, to a language design, okay, mm -hmm. are called front end developers. So that guy is a front end developer who actually converts everything to, to the design, which is actually written in the, the in the in that programming language in which you are developing the things. Yeah. So that is the work of the of the front end developer. Sometimes the uh, user, sometimes you know. Uh, their job, front end developers' job, is only to create, to convert their designs. And sometimes, in some organizations, uh, they also have the responsibility to to complete all the front end work. Okay. When I say all the front end work, means apart from the design, on the front end side, the application, you know, interact with the back end side, with the server, and get the data and populate that data in those designs. So sometimes. Uh, the uh, FED's job is to only create designs and developers do the rest of the work on the front end side and sometimes they do all the work. So that is that is you know a variation in the market. Okay. So that's and you there are a lot of front end frameworks available in the market currently which we have already discussed. Yeah, yeah. So so why not let's elaborate the front end part. Uh, let let me explain what is front end or the process of building your front end uh, is that you know, we start with the mockups mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. uh, in the mockups we show the, to the clients that your web application will be like this after that we create the PSTs mm -hmm. PSTs are the PNG files we create on uh, in, in Photoshop most probably yeah. and after those PSTs, we convert these PSTs to HTML pages. Okay. Let let all it be dummy HTML pages, yeah. And we connect those pages together so that we can uh, we can see or demo the flow of, of that feature or, or of that mm -hmm. web application. And at the end, these pages are assigned to developers so that they can uh, integrate those pages. So that we can have the actual data populated inside those pages. Did you say the uh, HTML pages, the, the dummy design you said? Yeah, yeah. But, but I think that is not always the HTML pages. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It depends on uh, what framework we yeah, are using. Exactly. If we are developing the, everything totally on the on the front end side, like the yeah. JavaScript frameworks, yeah. frameworks, Angular or React or whatever, then that is those are not HTML pages. Yeah. Uh, basically, uh, that's very important point. Basically, exactly. Exactly. Uh, right now there are a couple of frameworks like Angular, React.js, Vue.js, uh, ext.js is also providing the component exactly. base. So uh, for those frameworks, we don't need HTML pages, so we design the components mm -hmm. and the connected components, and the developer will populate data from backend to those components and connect them. Very nice. So, is there any HTML, HTML, HTML involved still there? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, we are using, let's say, we, we just talk about the React JS. We are using JSX uh, uh, style, JSX components. Uh, uh, JSX language. What what would we will say to the JSX? Yes, uh, it's. I think. I'm not sure about it. 
<laughs> so, speaking, I'm not sure. so the components are based on JSX okay. and these are the uh, tags provided by ReactJS yes, similar to our HTML tags. Yeah. So we design our component with JSX and uh, I, I don't think there is much difference between HTML and JSX. Mm -hmm. if, you, so if you have an FC in the HTML, you will understand the JSX uh, syntax very easy. Yeah, yeah, it's very easy. Yeah, I have used it. So the equities will create the JSX and the style part inside it and uh, maybe they will uh, apply the routing as well so that on login view when you click on login button you will just be navigated to dashboard and the actual developers like me and you yeah. will <laughs> will uh, apply and will implement the conditioning, the logic, the data patch, post, port, delete, all of these calls. I think we are we are getting into much details. And <laughs> 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 we, we thought that we will not go into the details. This, this is just a you know uh, concept based discussion. Yeah Basit here details. Exactly I I, I, I do. <laughs> so uh, last question from my side. Uh, where is the part of all the cloud-based services, all those like Amazon or Cloudflare or all that stuff? Yeah, uh, that's very uh, important point. But uh, in web development, these cloud services comes at last when we, let's say, we are deploying something and we are moving something from development phase to the staging or production phase. So for those uh, faces for giving demos to client or uh, giving our uh, application to live environment we need to purchase some hosting services basically. so these days the uh, hosting services with 99.9% availability is Amazon so Amazon cloud services the EC uh, in sense is awesome and we Use most of the services of yeah, yeah. Amazon, Amazon at the moment. Amazon. But uh, uh, instead of Amazon, we can do use the Google Cloud, yes. the Azure service, or whatever yeah, is available, yeah. which is yeah. not very expensive and very useful. Yeah, we use that. So if I, if you have any other point you want to add, then um, no, not no, exactly. So I want to yeah. I want to summarize it for everyone because uh, we discuss a lot of things. So I think things should be clear. So we discussed uh, about web development, what is web development, and then there is static web pages like information websites, uh, which is which, which are mostly used for the informational purpose, and which have mostly have one, two, or three pages. That's it. And then there are complex web applications. So when we talk about the web, complex web applications, uh, there is a front end part, then there is a back end part. All these parts come interact with each other, and then back end part contains database as well like these two parts interact with each other and then backend is also interacting with the cloud services so if you want to put anything on the cloud like uh, shared storage or whatever whatever so so backend is responsible for dealing with all that stuff and user is on this part okay so user is only interacting with the front end side and backend is interacting with everything else and these two parts are interacting with each other I think that's all for now. Yeah, <laughs> that's all for now. Uh, I think we, we we can go into details in our next session. Exactly. And, and uh, should we discuss about the roles uh, or the, or the you know job roles which are hidden in in all that thing in all that verification now or do we have a plan to discuss that later in the session? Yeah, we can discuss that, but I think this would be a separate session. Yeah, exactly. Separate that's a separate session. session. That would be helpful. Yeah, yeah. So that's all from my side. Yep. Yeah.